Hey, what's going on, guys? So I saw this video. I know y'all wanted me to talk about it, but I wasn't going to really talk about it. Um, but I decided to today because it was actually some nasty work here, okay? You had um, Pedro. He was confronted by um, a guy, um, Jelly Roll, whatever he calls himself. Um, I have no issue with the guy. Uh, I'm just giving you guys the news. And um, this is more so a gig story. But I think um, it's kind of interesting. Now, we're going to talk about the Pedro and this dude. Um, this no bumper TV. And then we're going to talk about Torp and this crazy psycho chick that I don't understand. I don't understand what she's on. Um, we're going to um, jump into that also. But let's start. Let's get straight to the point here. So Pedro, somebody told me like a few days ago, Pedro got doxxed and he got confronted. And I'm like, okay, um, what do you mean? And I'm thinking like, no big deal. But then I saw this video pop up from Pedro and he discussed what happened to him. And I'm like, sheesh, this is freaking some nasty work here. So there was a fellow content creator in my uh, neck of the woods, South St. Louis. His channel is No Bumper TV or The Gig Machine, one of the two. I think maybe it's he calls himself the both, both. And he's made some content. No I've TV. seen him out and about. We've had some, you know, we, we've spoken a few little times, nothing big. We don't really know each other. But I've seen him. He sees me. It is what it is. And I make videos every day. I share my experience yes, every you do. day. Right? So I talk about priority access. I think there is something to be said for that. I'll get to that at some point in this video. Maybe, maybe not. There's something to be said for it. Right? So... I feel my interaction of going into two feature called collab, right? So he made a video this talking about wrong, priority access and how it's a scam. And on his device, on his phone, you could see he has priority access, but he has a 0% acceptance rate. So I did a reaction video to that saying, man, he must be using a glitch or something. I still stand by that. He's doing something, but that's his business. It's not my business. I don't care. So that's the reason why I will give, um, the no bumper TV, the benefit of the doubt, you, you should be mad because Pedro did blow up his spot because, you know, he put that out there. And if somebody saw that, um, they could reach out the door to ask and say, hey, this guy is doing this and that. So I will give him the benefit, but I don't think the reaction garnered what happened. But let's just get here, do you, back into right? it. Get over on DoorDash, I, I could care less, right? But to my point, the priority access is a thing. Otherwise, he wouldn't be using it. I think that's a fair thing to say, fair assumption. Anyway, so I've done some collabs with him. He works like 100 hours a week. He's, all, he's shown all of this on his channel and himself. He's given us the information, and I reacted to it. And I don't think he liked that. He didn't like it. I think he took it as I was talking down on him. Even though in those videos, I was shouting him out, telling him, telling you guys, go check him out, go check him out. He's a fellow St. Louis gig content uh, creator, a father. Can't Don't help everybody. You can't save everybody. That's the point. You Maybe he love. That. Not a big deal. They take it the wrong way and think you're trying to. This like, Sunday, I saw him. something that he was saying. I think he felt he felt some type of way. He felt like he was being disrespected. I went on Sunday, this past Sunday, to St. Louis Bread Company in hopes that he'd be there. He was there by chance, kind of lucky. I did that before I went to go play basketball. I pulled up. We were talking. I said, "Let me park the car." I parked the car. We talked some more. We had a great man-to-man -man conversation. In that conversation, he said some things. I said some things. It was very cordial. Not threatening in any way. No violence. No I think it was just talking like men. Saying that there's- I can believe that. He even admitted, maybe I misunderstood. It's like, yeah, you know, I get it. Maybe me too. Maybe, you know, <laughs> I, show, I showed him love. I respect that he works his grind. He's a father. I get why he does what he does. I don't know. It's not for me. I wouldn't want to work 100 hours. I don't think he does either. It's not my, I don't, that's not how I want it. That's more important than anything else. Just like WWE. Those were his words. So he wanted I'm wrong, Pedro I'm, to I'm, engage I'm, some WWE So I assume wrestling it was just for YouTube. Drama. Clicks and views. I've gotten that a couple a times. People viral wanted me video, to jump whatever, into like, right? you know. Maybe I'm like wrong. Fake since then, I don't really do that though. He continues to, to say things, continues to do this, continues to he tell is me. At I, his neck. I can't go here. I can't go there. Calling me out on my name. Words don't mean anything to me. You can call and say and think whatever you want. I'm cool with it. I know who I am. I stand very, very firm in that. I'm good with that. But at the end of the day, we're both fathers. We're both men. We're both hustlers out here making money to provide. That 
Now, Pedro is going to think, I don't necessarily and, worry about stuff like that. But then when you mix in, go in and fact, my how personal information, where I live, this my family members, where my girlfriend's you know, of course, name, family, like girlfriend, his kids, and everybody lives. I don't which necessarily is wrong. worry about stuff me. like that. But then when you mix Disgusting in work. This, what we got going on this week with a fellow person that's actually in St. Louis and even him in one of my comment sections, the gig machine says, I know where you live. That gives me pause. I have a daughter. Uh, now, just to keep, just to keep it um, if keep I it did, here, Pedro did I apologize. Maybe you'll do next Sunday and invite on, them on story. his Sunday show. So I'm just going to make that clear uh, before we go to what the guy decided to do. The guy took it to the next level. Now, mind you, this is where he confronted Pedro. Okay, and I'm like, this is absolute disgusting, nasty work. And I'm right. Players, right. Right. Yeah, all all right. Right. because this is context and I can't have it both ways. I can't be always talking about black on black crime and this and that. And then we got this going on. Now, let me say this. Okay. Cause I'm hoping a guy who doesn't come at me because it ain't that deep. I mean, now, Hey, I don't really care, you know, about, uh, this dude, you know, it ain't going to hurt me. I'm not going to respond to him. <laughs> He's going to be talking to himself because, um, this is literally a ploy just to get Pedro like to get some views, literally get some views. And he knows he's bigger than Pedro. Like, my thing is this. This is a big man. Like, literally a big, like, look at this dude. Freaking, I'm not fighting this dude. I would have to do some other things. Um, I'm not going to stand here. I'm not going to, I'm not fighting this dude. Dude, big as hell. Dude, like, freaking um, 300 and, like, 50 pounds. No, not that big. He's probably, like, 290 at least. 280. I'm not fighting this dude. This is what he did to Pedro, though. He pulled up in Pedro, and he thought this made him look good. No, like, this made him look place. cool. That's what you're saying online? You put me in my place? That's what you're saying? What you want to do, dog? You think you don't want opportunists? Stop playing with me, dog! Stop it! You know you don't want to fucking fight me, dog! And, you know, for this dude being this big, he made himself look like a clown because Pedro place. actually... Pushed him back. Like he pushed That's Pedro pushed saying. him for being in his what face. You do, he act like he just you pulled up from Pedro or like Stop to check playing him. with me, dog. Stop it. He could tell this dude. You know, you know, it's always the loudest ones in the room that always are like big glitch about to be weak. exposed. This guy wants us to pay him five hundred bucks to give game. That's what you're saying online. Put me in my place. That's what you're saying. What you wanna do, dog? You think you know what opportunist? Stop playing with me, dog. Stop it. You know you don't want to fucking fight me, dog. So you hear what Pedro said. about to be exposed. This guy wants us to pay him 500 bucks to give game. That's what you're saying online? You put me in my place? That's what you're saying? What you want to do, dog? You think you know what opportunist? Stop playing with me, dog. So I just wanted y'all to get the, the clear picture. And um, this is absolute nasty work, you know. And this is um unbecoming of a man. Um, I think that's absolutely disgusting that you took it to this point when Pedro talked to you to, you know, Pedro talked to the guy. He thought everything was cool. They, they, they had their, you know, disagreement and everything was cool. And for this guy to go and decide to like pull up on him like that, randomly, like threatening the like, like violence. And I get it because, you know, Pedro did like he, he put that clip in that Pedro did say that um, we got to pay $500 to know about the glitch. So he is taking money out of, out of his man's pocket if he was to expose him. So I can't really be, you know, um, on the side of Pedro completely because he was out of bounds for that. And you can't tell a man how to react. You know, um, that's like with me, you know. But my thing is, as a man, I just wouldn't confront somebody like this and, and take it to the point. You know, it just makes you look ignorant and then post it on social media. And I don't get it. That dude got to be young. He got to be like a 26-year-old, you know, um, because – I'm sorry, like who records that and posts on social media for clout when this man literally offered for you to come on his Sunday show? You could have got more clout from that. And, you know, Pedro, he's nicer than me. I'm sorry. If somebody tried to do that to me and dox me and left the video up of, of confronting me, I would never allow this guy to get that platform. I'm sorry. You don't get that right to, like, confront me and try to make me look like a goof and then or like I'm weak. And then think you're going to come on my show. Oh, I would do everything I can. I got to do to, um, you know, avenge that um, disrespect and, um, you know, um, cook you. So hopefully that dude grows up 
and, you know, realizes that, you know, you don't got to be the cat chaser like everybody else tries to be to where you try to dog somebody and you try to, like, disrespect somebody for some views. You don't have to be that guy. Um, you can be, you know, regular guy. Just build your YouTube channel off of your own back, not off of another man's back. You know, but like I said, I don't want no issues with Jelly Roll. He calls himself Jelly Roll. I don't want no issues with him because, like, I'm telling you, I'm not fighting you. You're too big. Okay? I'm doing something else if you confronted me. I'm sorry. Okay? And I got my motorcycle gear on and all that. Um, I got my gear in my pocket right here. Like, I'm sorry. Maybe I watch too much of um, um, a sense of anarchy. You're not pulling up on me like that. So just nasty work. And that goes to anybody. Anybody that confronts me out here in L.A., um, it's going to be the same way. I'm not going to, you know, let you just do that because, you know, you're bigger and you know that, you know, who want to fight you, you know? And then on top of just fighting you, I want to go back to my kids. I don't want to freaking risk hurting you to a point that now I got to go to jail and I got to, you know, lose the opportunity to see my kids grow. So I'm going to do what I got to do to get out of that situation. But that's just a little video. I want to show you all. That's that whole doxing video that Pedro was talking about. Go to Pedro's video on his live, and you can hear the whole situation, how he handled it, and how he handled it after. Um, and, yeah, I don't think that was um, a good way to, to handle it. And, by the way, I start Monday. It looks like I start Monday with um, the training, virtual training. Um, it's for three weeks. So we're in there. I just sent my I-9 forms over, so we're good. So then here's the next one. I don't know. I don't want to smoke with this lady either. She's in L.A., but I got to just talk about this because Torp's my boy. You know, we're not, I don't talk to him like we're not friends or anything like that. We're like Facebook friends, I believe. You know, like whenever he sees some of my videos, come on my video, shows me love. When I see his video pop up, I always click on it. Like, cause it's fun, you know, hey, it's Torp. And he goes and he cooks. That's where I got the whole, like, game from. You know, when I tell y'all I'm giving y'all game, I got that from Torp. So I didn't realize that this was a real thing because him and this lady right here, they were on a live stream together on um always cherry pick shout out to always cherry pick i can't wait till it comes back to youtube but they were doing a live stream and this lady is psycho and i didn't know that she was really like like crazy until i went to her channel i didn't know she had a channel and she literally does a video about twerp every single day this is a guy i'm talking about for like i'm i'm just going down okay she started from she used to be like a dasher okay she used to be a dasher and she used to do dashing videos. And then out of nowhere, like five months ago, she started doing videos about twerp every single day. Like every day. Like unhinged videos of twerp every day. And like these videos are so addicting. Like you just watch them, like how crazy somebody could be. Just look at this situation. Look at her facial expressions. Then she's talking to herself. And the thing is, the reason why it makes it fascinating is because her thumbnails are always nasty. Her thumbnails are always torp, got me hooked on meth. And I'm thinking, like, how? She never met you before. He never talked to you before. You found his YouTube channel just started going off. Torp's never done anything like that before. The most he does is smoke weed and cigarettes. But this lady does these videos every mm. single day about, like, a response to tour videos every day. So when y'all be thinking, I be saying that black folks be the worst. No, all people are the worst sometimes. And this is the worst. Like, she be going in. Like, this, look at the hashtag on this one. I think she deleted most of the hashtags. Like, it looks like she deleted, went in and deleted half of the hashtags. She goes in every day. Here we go. See, Torp got me mm. into yeah, meth. Bad influences. And that is listen to these fucking Disneyland content. They, you know, you're a piece of shit. So this is what she does all day. Am I going to sit here and keep on fucking with people? Dag on uh, repeat and rinse the same fucking story every goddamn video. Like, this is fascinating. You know, this is a case story, case study. You know, uh, you have to look at their views and subscribers, okay? Disneyland, are you? Oh, I don't watch Pedro, but. I'm not trying to have a conversation. I'm trying to point him out. 
So I was going to do this video a while ago, but I'm like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't because I don't want her to try to come after me. But then it got to a point that um, I got to like, I got to, it's just, this is craziness. Yeah, we did that too. Yeah, our trick or treat went to about three o'clock in the morning. Y'all tell me in the comments below. No, what do y'all think is going on here? Not like that for us, okay? I mean, you, you guys are a little like trashy. It. Maybe if you're teenagers, I can see it. Come from black, white, and all that shit. We already knew about that shit. We wasn't that stupid to fall into the race war, so we changed the war. Mm. The war is you respect. So I think. Other. Let me see if I can pull up the debate they had. Here we go, right here. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do. Oh no, he, he clipped it as a, as a joke. Let me see if I can find that debate. Nope, I'm not going to be able to find it. I think uh, it was on Always Cherry Pick. Like, oh, I'm going to give you that money when you keep playing. She didn't show up to this debate they were supposed to have. And look, guys, I know this ain't no news. I know this ain't what I was going to, you know, what I used to talk about. But I just wanted like to show y'all. I'm going to see if it's on here. Open the fuck. Because it's so freaking fascinating. Nope, they don't got it. But yeah, back to the point, guys. Um, you know, you have craziness all over the place. And I know I make it seem like, you know, it's all about the blacks. It ain't. I have a lot of people from all walks of life are engaging in this behavior. It's just, um, you know, I got to do a better job of sharing all the news, not just the news in regards to like black folks acting up because it's just people of all walks of life. And Jelly Roll, I think he's white. Pedro, he's Hispanic, but Pedro didn't do, he's not a violent guy. Um, he's just dealing with a violent white guy that's just is out of control. And then, um, you know, Torp, white guy, he's dealing with the crazy, you know, she got to, I mean, she got to be meth head before she's like just addicted. And I don't get why she's at this dude's neck. But look, guys, I'm about to go. Uh, I'm going to do a video on um, this immigration issue going on. That guy. Um, a company trending right now. Uh, you got this company that fired 1,200 um, legal, you know, Americans, uh, working Americans, uh, Tyson, to bring in illegal immigrants, okay, to do those same jobs right in front of us. So I'll be back in about an hour and a half. We're going to talk about that story. Um, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if you think crazy is just all over the place. It don't matter if you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, whatever. Anybody can be crazy. Leave a comment below and make sure you subscribe and like the video if you like the video. Um, with that said, that's all I got. I'm out. Peace.